is Jeff Caden, and I own the Tinderbox in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm producing a series of cigar videos, which will be titled Total Cigar Talk. Let's go in the store. Hi, Jeff Caton, Total Cigar Talk, take number five. Now we're going to discuss lighters. Light, there is a ton of different lighters out there, lots of different companies, uh, Calibri, Prometheus, Vector KGN, Zycar, DuPont, Dunhill, Zippo, many to choose from. Uh, lots of different styles and shapes, lots of different price points, uh, three different flame types, which we'll go over in a second. We here at Tinderbox carry Zippo, DuPont, Calibri, Zycar, and a couple other off-brands, some little ex less expensive lighters, some more expensive. We carry quite a few. I probably have over 400 lighters to choose from. But you can see a little bit in this case, you can see the different sizes, different shapes, different finishes, all available, um, all for sale, ready to go. I also have some tabletop lighters to choose from. We got various, again, size and shapes, different price points, lots of different choices, uh, depending on what you're looking for. But what I'm going to go to uh, talk about right now, what I'm going to go over right now, is the types of lighters and how to fill them. There's basically three different types of lighter flames. There is the basic flame, which is your basic, just everyday old, old candle flame. There is your windproof flame, which is something like this. It doesn't have to go green. This is a little different, but it's windproof. And then there's the basic jet flame, which is the most popular flame of all the lighters. That's a jet flame. Okay? So you got three different types of flames. Regular, windproof, and jet flame. Almost every company makes various models that do all three of those flames. What we're also going to go through over here is the correct way to fill your lighter. Basically, they all fill about the same way. What we recommend is when you get your new lighter and you're filling it, you have your lighter in your hand, the little tiny fill port at the bottom is right here. Take a precision screwdriver such as this. You can get this at any True Value, Walmart, Walgreens. Again, they're very inexpensive. And what you do is you depress the bottom of the valve here and you bleed out all of the gas and or air that's trapped inside the lighter. And you just keep bleeding it out, slightly depressing down. You put your precision screwdriver right over the little hole at the bottom and you press down lightly, bleed out all the gas, all the air, and basically you keep doing this until nothing else comes out of the lighter. And again, 95% of the lighters can be filled this way because I think they went universal fill valve about 20, 25 years ago. So it's one fill valve, it's one type of valve on the bottom, they all fill the same way. So again, we bleed all the air, all of the gas, everything out of your lighter until nothing else comes out. Then we take our can of butane. There's many different butanes out there. This is Calibri, but Zycar has butane, Vector KGM, Prometheus, many of the other companies have their own butane. But you take whatever butane you're using, which has got the universal fill spout at the top, you hold it upside down on your lighter, and you depress down for probably 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. This I'm going to hold down for about 15 seconds total, because this is a pretty big lighter and it holds a lot of juice. So after you fill up your lighter and it's full, the butane will be a little colder. So we recommend that you wait just a little bit, let it warm up in your hands before you try lighting it and make your adjustments to the flame. But once it warms up a little bit, you should be able to hit the button. It should light, no worries. If you need to make a flame adjust, now would be the time to do that. You can turn different things. Some lighters adjust different ways. This one adjusts here. This is a tabletop, almost a cream brulee torch. But many of the other lighters that you have will have a little adjustment on the bottom that says plus and minus so you can actually turn there's the plus there's the minus you can turn it usually to the left is up and you can actually increase the flame up like that or you can turn it slightly the other direction and you can make the flame go up or down a little bit as as to your choosing that's probably about where you want it right there for a jet flame again let's go over this one more time when you get a new lighter turn it upside down Get a precision screwdriver, gently depress the valve at the bottom, bleeding out all the gas and all the air that's in your lighter. Take your can of butane, upside down, and hold it down for anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds. Don't go up and down, up and down, up and down, because every time you go up and go back down, it pushes air into your lighter. And the air inside the tank is what impedes most lighters from performing. So we just hold it down for about 10 or 15 seconds, you're done. 
let it warm up in your hands a little bit, let it get warm, and then bingo, you're back in action. No worries. Our policy here at Tinderbox, regardless if you buy the lighter from us or not, is if you ever have a problem, bring it into us, probably any local tobacconist in your area, show them the lighter, show them you're having problems, and they'll walk through this for you. We do it for free for our customers, it's just part of our service, but it's definitely something that a lot of people don't understand, and the manufacturers don't do a really good job of showing you kind of how to do it. So again, we've got three different flames, we've got your normal flame, your windproof flame, and we have your jet flame, and now you know how to fill and service your lighter. Thanks.